Welcome to Top Notch Online TV, a paragon of excellence. Today with you is Teacher Rispa, a teacher from PCA Kikuyu High School, a teacher of English and Literature, an examiner as well as an author. We have been looking at the short stories series and today I'm here yet again with the one among the stories entitled December. December is a story all the way from Namibia by an author, an author by the name Philemon Liambo. One among the characters' name is December, hence the relevance of the title. In understanding this story, we'll need to take the episodic approach of what is happening so that it helps us to cover the plot in summary. Welcome. When, you're first meet, uh, when, you're, when the story unfolds, first of all, we shall call the first episode September's preparations to go and visit December. We are meeting a character by the name of September. September, we are being told, has, has, has an elder sister by the name of December. December had been for a long time, been the last born until the birth of September. According to their father, he is naming these children according to the month in which they were conceived. For example, we are looking at December had been named December, meaning that she was conceived in December, and then later on, she was born in September. What about September? September has been named September according to the month that he had been conceived, yet he was later on born in July. If you're looking at the month uh, around it, it does not tally. Therefore, the father's sense of mathematics is at fault. We are also being told about another, yet another character by the name of Ezekiel. Ezekiel is the grandfather to December as well as September. There is a way that Ezekiel used to look at his grandson whenever he spotted an element of idiocy. If you are behaving in a certain kind of behavior, in, in a certain kind of way, the grandfather would give you that look. On this particular day, as September is, is preparing on how to go and visit the sister, we see that he takes a detour and he decides to visit KFC, reason being he wanted to buy some fries, or if you like, you can call them chips, for the sister. The sister liked the chips from that particular place because they were prepared in some kind of way that made them to appear soft. On this particular day, September seems to be lost in thought. Instead of ordering food, he is just aloof. He, and then the waitress gives him some kind of look. A look that is reminiscent of how the grandfather used to look at him whenever he spots some element of idiocy. And the waitress goes ahead and asks him, won't you order for something? He goes ahead and he's asking for chips. But then the, or the waitress is thinking, who comes all the way to KFC only to order chips? And even by the time he, call, he, he called it chips, it was very evident he was not from one among the uh, among the uh, provinces in Namibia. He has to be a foreigner. And in these small towns of Namibia, they used to, uh, to, they used to treat strangers with some kind of indifference. Anyway, he picks his chips and he is ready to set on, to set off for his journey. We are going into the second episode, an episode that you're going to call December's Mental illness. We are learning that the sister to September, by the name of December, the one that is bearing an, a name similar to the title of our story, she has been confined in a psychiatric uh, ward. Psychiatric ward because she is suffering from schizophrenia, a condition of the mind, and now September is about to go and visit the sister. But then you need to go back to her illness. And the illness is brought to our attention through some flashback. Through a flashback, we are learning that September, now the, uh, the character we've met so far, there's once upon a time that he had been struck by a hoe, what we in Kenya call a jembe. He had been struck by a hoe. And the story that was given was that the sister 
who is December, was tending to their mother's vegetable garden. As she was midway through digging, she had raised the jembe, she had raised the hoe, and then as she was about to bring it down to dig the ground, what happened? It struck, it struck September accidentally. This had resulted to a gush. There was a lot of blood rushing out from his head. And we are seeing that it is like December comes back to her senses and she tears her shirt, a big section of her shirt, so that she can help stop the bleeding. Later on, September is taken to the hospital and he comes back bandaged. And the writer is very particular. He, is, uh, he tells us that that was the better version that could be had. Now that he's telling us that was the better version, it means that there has to be another version which is the, which is the true version. We are still on the second episode. We are learning about December's illness. And then we are being told further what happened is that it had started normally with cat fights and exchanging insults with, with classmates. Later on, it escalated for December and she started to walk naked in the streets. What is being brought to our focus is the condition of being a schizophrenic. The girl is suffering from schizophrenia. Uh, the people who know about schizophrenia, it is marked with episodes. Some episodes, the person is okay. Some episodes, the person is not okay. For example, we are looking at, she strikes the brother with a hoe. And she goes back to her senses and now is trying to nurse him back to health, a very serious kind of condition which December is suffering from. Then we are learning, according to the grandfather, the grandfather is very uh, particular, this must be witchcraft. Because the girl started to behave like that when she was in her final year in high school and she was destined to join a teacher's college, becoming a teacher. Another thing we are being told about December is that December and her brother September, they had something in common, which was physically they had big heads. And what they shared was the fact that they were intellectually gifted. They were clever. Now this December that was clever and destined for greatness, she was about to go into a teacher's college to become a teacher. She suddenly loses her mind. The grandfather cannot accept this fact. The grandfather can only attribute such a thing to witchcraft. The grandfather, first of all, tries to, uh, to, take some me to put some measures in place. The measures being he, makes, he, he takes December to a traditional healer. To that traditional healer, she stays for some time and then she comes back and she is looking thin. She looks like, uh, from the what I'm seeing from the writer's description, she is skeletal, like she's resembling a skeleton. And then the narrator who is, uh, who is September, he started to wonder, were they trying to starve the voices in her head? The fact that the voices in someone's heads, he the voices in someone's head have been mentioned is also an ind indicator that they're talking about a mental condition, schizophrenia. This lady, this girl, when she hears the voices in her head, she tends to react differently. That is the genesis of, uh, that is the genesis of December's illness. But then again, it is being compared to another member of the family. So we can conclude that this disease is hereditary. Among the, within the family, within the family, there is a brother to the grandfather. The grandfather's name is Ezekiel. Ezekiel has a brother who also loses himself at times. He started by forgetting time. There's another time, finally, the, uh, the final uh, strike was this brother by the name of Joseph, he disappeared from home only to be found a month later. And how was he found? How he was found is that Ezekiel, the grandfather to December and September, had a dream. And in that dream, we are seeing that uh, Joseph was eating a certain meal. And then... When he woke up, 
he explained the dream to people and the exact place he had seen Joseph eating from when they went to that place is when Joseph was found. From then onwards, we are learning that the grandfather brought about a new rule that December should never eat chicken. Now from that day onwards, December was forbidden from eating chicken. That is the second, uh, that is the second episode we've spoken about December's mental uh, condition. The third episode, let's call it uh, September's visit to the psychiatric ward. September visits uh, the psychiatric ward and when he's there, they, he undergoes a check whereby they are, they're asking him a lot of questions, who are you, what is, what his, what his name is, and they also rummage through his a bag to see what he has carried. After now they have, after now the checks have been done, he has to proceed and he knows where exactly to head to. He knows the psychiatric ward. Then there's something he's observing. Now when, once he is about to get to that area that hosts the psychiatric ward, one among the things he's noticing is that the, some letters are missing from the from the words casualty, some two letters are missing. That is one of the things he's noticing. Another thing that he is noticing is that the place has been freshly painted. Then he notices that the bars on the window have been reinforced. They have made they have been made more secure. What would made people what would make people to make the bars even farmer, it is as a sign of reinforcing security. That should be an indicator that some among these psychiatric patients, they might turn violent. He then approaches one among the nurses. The nurses also looks at him with indifference, don't care attitude. And she goes ahead and she's pointing at the clock, uh, indicating that you are way past time. There, are no, there is no, no more visitation. There is no more visitation at this time. At first, September had thought telling the truth and maybe being polite would avert a situation of indifference that if I act kindly towards the nurse, she might not be indifferent towards me. But then he had read it wrong. The nurse was unperturbed. She was not even moved by by him, the story he had, whatever, he just was adamant it is not yet time to visit. The nurse goes ahead and calls security on September. You know, when you become troublesome, security is called to escort you out of the building. But then when the security man comes, a security man by the name of, a security, uh, the security guard, uh, much to the nurse's annoyance, the security guard and September, they seem to be acquainted with one another. They go ahead and they are hugging and they're even exchanging pleasantries. For example, we are looking at September asking uh, this security guard that, how is your father doing? His father had been known that he used to have, his father had been known he used to have arthritis. The name of this security guard is Shuveni. Shuveni's dad used to be having arthritis. Now the pleasantries, he goes ahead asking him how the father is faring on. On the other side, we learn that also Shuveni is very familiar with September. He goes ahead and is asking him, how is your dog Kali faring on? And we are now learning a story about this, uh, a story about they share some passed together, whereby we are being told that December bloomed very early in life. She got to the milestones of puberty at a very early age. She got through the milestones of puberty at a very early age. Therefore, she was attracting a lot of suitors. And among the suitors was this particular security guard by the name of Chuveni. Now to deter this man from always making advances at uh, December, the family had decided to 
have a dog, a dog by the name of Kali. Now, after this kind of, uh, after this kind of, uh, after this kind of information comes to light that the security guard and September they know each other, the nurse now is more reluctant. The, the, the nurse now is a bit relaxed. The nurse now is a bit relaxed. She can now allow September to go into the psychiatric ward to go ahead and visit the patient that he needed. At this point is, is where she inquires, whom did you really want to see? And you're learning that he wanted to see a patient by the name of December Shikongo. We're learning that the Shikongo is their family name. Even September he is September Shikongo. And then this is the point she's learning. September had just come from abroad and he needed to see the sister. Now, two factors contribute to his success. Number one, the fact that he was familiar with the guard. Number two, the fact that he mentioned abroad and you know, now the person is feeling some kind of awe. She's being wowed, wowed by the fact that someone has come from the U U UK. She's now ready to allow, allow, September to visit his sister. We are now moving ahead and you are looking at the final episode that you're calling meeting between December and September. The, the siblings finally meet and you're seeing that when he is seeing December, she is in one of her good episodes. There's sometimes a schizophrenic will act as if just they are normal. She even goes ahead. She can recall him. She's even asking him how he is faring on with school. She even goes ahead to comment their grandfather has not visited her for quite some time, which is in fact true. In fact, September is reluctant. He is reluctant to tell the sister that the reason as to why I flew back home is so that I can attend our grandfather's funeral. A lot of things in this story are hidden. The characters thrive in concealing information. If I could remind, uh, if I could remind our students that one, December does not eat chicken. The real reason you're not being told. Another one is September does not reveal to the sister that they've lost their grandfather and even the next day that he will be going on to attend the grandfather's burial. The sister tells when the time is up for them uh, to speak, when the visitation time is over, he promises the sister that he would visit her the following, uh, the following day. But what he knows for sure is that he will not make it. How will he be making it yet? He'll be attending the grandfather's funeral. We are still on the episode meeting between September and December. And we are seeing that during this meeting, he has, brought, uh, he has brought her some chips and she is really enjoying the delicacy. She chews on them and she's commenting the way they are nice. December is grateful. Apart from that, you're seeing that he has, brought, uh, he has brought her a hoodie and she's also appreciative of that fact. She says, it sometimes gets very cold over here. She appreciates now a hoodie will be protecting me from the cold. And then he, uh, the last thing he gives her he gives her as a gift is some kind of a t-shirt. A t-shirt that is an exact replica of the t-shirt that December had torn sometime back when she was trying to stop the bleeding that had the, the bleeding that was uh, was happen the bleeding that had occurred as a result of December hitting the brother with a hoe. Now it is like that t-shirt that had been torn to perform first aid, he has replaced it. We are seeing that December is very excited. She's even bragging it to the nurse. She's telling the nurse, look what he has brought me. But the nurse fakes a smile. And then it brings to our, uh, to our focus a question. What kind of relationship exists between December and the nurse? Because there's something that has been described physically about December. We are being told that December looked like her lip had been swollen. And at the same time, the brother describes it as, it looks like she had, she had gone through the wall. 
making some physical altercations on the wall, you'll end up getting hurt. That is what the brother describes that kind of condition. Her outward appearance, it's like she has gone through a wall and her lip has been swollen. And let me remind you, there was the reinforcement of the bars. The bars have been made tighter. An indication that December might have been one among the patients who are violent. Uh, as the story is coming to an end, we see that the burial of Ezekiel, the grandfather, takes place. And according to September, Ezekiel goes to the grave with his secret. He had told September, I'll one day tell you why December is not allowed to eat chicken. Even when they, were, uh, when they were visiting her, they were only allowed to bring maybe mutton or other times beef, but never chicken. That is it about the story of December. We now want to look a bit at the character and characterization. Among the characters we are looking at, let's look at December. We are only going to look at three. Among the characters we are looking at is the character December, after whom the story has been named. December, as a character trait, one of it is that she was intelligent. December was intelligent, as has been told, that a common thing they shared, she shared with her brother September was academic excellence. She was even destined, she was on her way to becoming a teacher, but then uh, schizophrenia stole her future from her, but she was intelligent. Another trait of December is that she is violent. The psychiatric ward that is hosting December, we are learning that it had been reinforced. The bars had been made tighter to deter violence. And uh, upon meeting her, we are even seeing that she had Upon meeting her, we're even seeing that she had a swollen lip. It looks like she had uh, she had gone through the wall. That is an indicator that she is violent. Apart from that, you are being told she used to have kite, she used to have cut fights with her classmates. And finally, she hit the brother using a hoe. That those are indicators that December is violent. Apart from being violent and intelligent, December is also appreciative, stroke, grateful. She appreciates the visitation of the brother, and at the same time, we are seeing that she thanks him for the gifts that he had, he had brought her. The gifts of the hoodie, I'll no longer be feeling cold. She's impressed that the brother replaced the long gone t-shirt and she also commented that the chips were really nice. That is appreciative. We go back to September, yet another character in the story. September, we are looking at him as someone who is polite. We are seeing that despite the nurse denying him to see uh, December since he was late, he maintained his courtesy. He maintained his courtesy. Another person might have been tempted to also be rude. If you're indifferent, indifference begets indifference. But then he maintained his courtesy in a, in a bid to av uh, avoid the indifference that he is constantly being shown. Another thing about him being polite, when he's exchanging pleasantries with Shuveni, the guard, he goes ahead and inquires about his father. His father, the last time he had checked, the father had been sick. That is someone polite. We're also moving ahead and we're seeing him as intelligent. I'll go back to the same illustration. We had been told what he had in common with December was, apart from the physical big head, they also were academic, they also were academically excellent. To the last trait of September, let's look at him as being concerned, caring, or loving. Among the illustrations to show him as uh, loving, we are looking at him coming back, cutting short his studies in the UK to come and attend his grandfather's funeral is an act that is propelled by his being concerned. Also, 
We are seeing him that he visits the sister at the psychiatric ward. He wants the chips to be perfect just the way the sister used to like them. And we are seeing that he even spares December the information that they had lost the grandfather. He knew that such information might just send December into yet another episode of schizophrenia. He might just lose it at that moment. Finally, we are looking at yet another character, a character by the name of Ezekiel. Ezekiel is the grandfather, the grandfather to September and December. Ezekiel, first of all, he is critical. Whenever he spotted an inkling, a small bit of idiocy, there's some kind of look he'd give you. He'd peer at you uh, uh, behind his spectacles in a way to tell you to stop being uh, idiotic. In other words, he's trying to criticize your behavior. Apart from that, we are also seeing he is critical of his son, Silas. Silas, Silas Shikongo, the father to the father to December and September. This uh, grandfather is very critical. He's very afraid that the son's lack of, uh, the son is not clever, but the son's foolishness might seep into his grandchildren. That is what he was feeling. Another thing about Ezekiel, he is well-meaning. When September had announced that he had an opportunity to go to the UK, he had been very happy and he had even promised he would be taking care of December. And true to the word, he took care of uh, December until his demise. When he's dead is when, September, uh, is when December is realizing grandfather no longer comes to visit me. The last trait you're going to look at about Ezekiel, Ezekiel is superstitious. He believes in things that cannot be backed by reason, by science. He believes in the fact that his own brother, the one who had, who had, uh, who had, also some kind of mental problem. In his dream, he saw the brother eating chicken. And because of that, he had, forb he had forbidden December from eating chicken ever since. Now he believes if you are to cure her from this condition, let her not even eat chicken. That is superstition. What does chicken have to do with schizophrenia? Lastly, under superstition, we are looking at Ezekiel taking the doc... Uh, taking the granddaughter to a local witch, uh, witch doctor and to a local healer. He thinks that this uh, schizophrenia is a disease that has been brought about by witchcraft. Therefore, it, it can take the effort, the effort of a traditional healer to bring her back to normalcy. That is it about our plot analysis and characterization in our story, December. Let's meet Let's meet next time.